So the, so the deal behind this is that, um, that in order to test the thing, see there's a there's a machine down there. Yeah. Huh. And they're putting, and what they did was they, they actually sent an engineer into the Tokyo subway system during the rush hour when they had the pushers in there. They said, let's see how much um, pressure you might actually feel on your body. Mm -hmm. And using a, a you know pressure sensor, they found out that you could, you could see upwards of 100 kilograms, which is about 220 pounds of pressure. And of course, if you're on the subway train, it's moving, right? So you get 220 pounds of compression and you're shaking. So they're like, okay, well, let's see if we can make the thing hold up. To Inside that. of a train. Instead of a subway. Train. And that's what the water is then. Yeah, so the, wa the water is, yeah. is what gets you to, to um, 100 kilograms. That's really cool. Now, so obviously that's not 220 pounds in a point. Right, right. That's distributed over the, the top of the machine. So that's a, that's a pretty full glass of water there. It is You guys are missing the water test over here. So rather than that, than that just coming off the edges, like it is a little bit, it's actually draining through the machine. Oh, that's where you have to have a spill through keyboard. Yeah, yeah. It's a gutter system. Yeah. It's draining the base. Ah, the drop testers. Oh, so dropping while operating. Not putting the moving. Uh -huh. so playing video. Two and a half feet. Oh my oh. goodness. I can't believe they just dropped that. It's no gotta be broke. There's no way it'll survive, Rance. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Unbelievable. <laughs> it didn't even skip a beat. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>